Hey guys, welcome to another album review where I'm only going to talk about albums that I like and I'm never going to talk about the new Cardi B or Drake album because I don't care about those. Basically, this show isn't your average album review. It's just, hey, here's an album I like. Here's a really good rating that's probably never going to go under like a six. Anyways, let's get started. We're talking about the Funny Boob album. That's right. Today, we are talking about Beethoven. We're talking about Death Grips the Money Store. Fuck you. Yep, I, I'm doing it. I'm, I don't, I'm throwing my records on a bed. Don't diss me in the comments. I, they are not being ruined in any way, shape, or form. That's right. We're talking about the Funny Screaming Man album, Death Grips, and Zach Hill who does the drumming, and then you have the one guy that is kind of just there. Death Grips is a three-piece rap trio consisting of Stefan Brunette, Zach Hill, and Andy Morin. Zach Hill is a fucking crazy maniac who can play drums like at 900,000 kilo miles per air supply pounds. Stefan Burnett, otherwise known as MC Ride, otherwise known as Ride, because apparently the MC just never existed. I, I heard that somewhere. I'm probably wrong. And Andy Morin, the guy who does the the, the sounds. Anyways, this is Death Grip's first album. Don't be fooled by what streaming services says. This is their first, and it was not the Funny Penis album. Let's talk about the money store, for fuck's sake. The album starts with Get Got. Get Got is a song that is really good. Um, <laughs> it starts with a really catchy line that I keep saying. Get, 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 got, 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 got. And then it just explodes into, like, the craziest arpeggio or synth thing you've ever heard in your life. Stefan tends to scream a lot in songs so this song is a little toned down if you don't like stefan screaming go listen to like you're the snitch or something no go listen to fashion week because there's literally no stefan in there it's just andy and zach honestly i think andy and zach would should make like a duo because i feel like they'd be like the ilys why am i so fucking dumb anyways it cuts to the next song the fever or otherwise known as the fever aa i think they just say aa -A! and it was named after that it starts with a cool sound though and the music video is cool the fever is a good song i just can't really explain it next song lost boys i think it might be my least favorite on the album it's good but it's kind of like it could have been so much better but it kind of just sounds dull Okay, enough with Lost Boys. Let's get on to my favorite track on the album, Blackjack. Oh, wait, oh, yeah. oh wait. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, my eyes are tearing up. That cough really fucked me up. The voice that says Blackjack, it's like, what? It's, it's so unsettling, yet it's so fitting. It's like, okay, it sounds like the person who said Blackjack said Blackjack in reverse, and then they reversed that. Like, it sounds like it was set. It, it sounds so weird. It's same with the entire, like, song. It's just really unsettling sounding song. Is my camera... Okay, I think my camera's focused. I recorded an entire video talking about Discovery by Daft Punk yesterday, and it my camera just did not want to focus. It's autofocus, by the way. All right. Also, the music video for Blackjack is, like, really fucking cool. The entire video is filmed like you're looking through a peephole on a door um which i think is pretty cool and also the video is just kind of unsettling too it's like the normal death grips music video they filmed it in like a hotel room have you seen the powers that be music video yeah they just clean up a beanbag next up we have hustle bones which if you have not seen the music video for that one stefan screams at you because you're inside of this dryer and trying to steal all of his money and uh broccoli Yes, YouTube, that is Broccoli. The next track I've seen footage is probably the most upbeat and danceable track on the album. With the huge fucking meme, this track, like, spawned the biggest Death Grips meme ever, which is the I Stay Noited line, which is used in, like, every single fucking thing relating to Death Grips I've ever seen on any social media platform. If you don't know what Noited means, it's basically just, like, a shortened term for paranoid, I think. Next track, Double Helix, basically the track where you're trying to back out of a driveway and it's like someone's screaming at you in your rearview mirror. And that's exactly what the music video portrays. Double Helix has this like really cool clangy sound. It's like a pitch down clang and it goes out throughout the entire song. System Blower, I completely forgot how the song sounded. All right, next we have Punk Weight. Punk, okay, Punk Weight starts with these weird um, vocals I don't remember what it what the sample was. I think it was music for Saharan cell phones, and then it, it it like overlaps itself, and there's two playing it. There's like two singing at once, and then like a couple minutes you hear like a bird screech, and then it just. 
Punk Weight is probably my favorite song Death Grips has ever made. Then you have Hacker. Um, I didn't like this song for the longest time because I was like, Oh, it's their most popular. I don't want to be one of those people who are like, Oh, the most popular song is my favorite because it's, it's, it's so popular. I thought that liking a band's most popular song, when I first found out about music, by the way, was a bad thing because then you'd sound like a, a, a poser. Um... I had to peel off some of the skin on my lip. Is that a flume reference? Anyways, I used to hate Hacker, but now I fucking love it. I listened to the song in its entirety, like, a year ago. Even though I've known Death Grip since, like, 2019. Because I was too stubborn to listen to Hacker because it was the most popular. Anyways, that's it for the money store. Do I need to talk about the album cover? It's booby. Let's give it a rating. Death Grip's The Money Store gets a solid 8.5 out of 10. Fuck that. 9 out of 10. The Death Grips, the Funny Screaming album, the, the good one, the Booby album, it gets a 9 out of 10. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, go listen to The Money Store because it's like the greatest um, album ever made considering the Anthony Fantano... According to Anthony Fantano, this is the best album ever made. According to me, Bottomless Pit is the best Death Grips album ever made. The best album ever made, ever, is Kid A. Um, no one can tell me otherwise. Kid A is a fucking beautiful masterpiece. Fuck you. Bye. This video's over.